Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we will cover how to bring a Ready Player Me character into Unreal Engine. First, go to readyplayer.me and click Enter Hub to create a character. When you are done creating your character, click Download Avatar as .glb file. Once your file has downloaded, open Blender. Delete the default cube, camera, and light. Then go to File, Import, .glb. Navigate to where you saved your character and click Import. Now, let's turn on the shaded mode to make sure that all the textures loaded properly. Then, zoom in to see the character better. Next, under Scene Collection, click on Armature. If you open it, you can see all the mesh and bones that make up the character. Click Ctrl A to select everything. Then go to File, Export, FBX. Change the path mode to copy, and then click the icon next to it. This will make sure that the textures export correctly. Under Include, Shift Select Armature and Mesh. Enable Limit to Selected Objects. Under Transform, change Apply Scaling to FBX All. Under Geometry, change Smoothing to Face. Turn off Bake Animation. Choose where you want to save your file, what you want to name it, and then click Export. Next, we're going to create a UE4 project. Launch UE 4.27.2. Click Games or Film. Select Blank or Third Person Project. Choose where you want to save the project and what you want to name it. Click Create. Once Unreal is open, create a new folder for your Ready Player Me character. Then, open the folder. Drag the FBX of your character into the Asset Browser. The Import settings will pop up. Make sure Import Morph Targets is enabled so that the facial blend shapes import properly. We will be using Livelink Face in this tutorial for face capture. Make sure animation is disabled. Under Transform, set the Import Uniform Scale to 100. Click Import. In order to receive data from Access Studio and Livelink Face, we will need to enable some plugins. Go to Edit, Plugins. First, we will search for Neuron Livelink, which is free on the Unreal Marketplace if you don't have it installed. Enable Neuron Livelink. Then, we will also need to enable Apple AR Kit and Apple AR Kit Face Support. Then, click Restart. Open the Skeletal Mesh and check that the blend shapes have properly imported. Then, go back to the Asset Browser. Right-click on the Skeletal Mesh or Skeleton Asset, and then go to Create and in Blueprint. Open the Anim Blueprint. We will start by adding a Live Link Pose node. You will need two Live Link Pose nodes if you also want to stream facial data. Add an Apply Additive node. The Live Link Pose node for the body will connect to the base, and the Live Link Pose node for the face will connect to the additive. In between the Live Link Body node and the Apply Additive node, add a Transform Bone node. Even though we change the scale of the character to 100 on import, it will try to revert back to its tiny size when the animation plays. So we will use this node to prevent that. Change the scale to 100 and then go to the Details panel. Under Skeletal Control, select Hips as the bone to modify. Under Scale, change the Scale mode to replace existing. Under Transform, change the Translation mode to Add to Existing and change the Translation space to Bone space. Click Compile. Then, click on the Livelink Pose node. In the Details panel, change the Remap Asset to Studio Livelink Remap Asset. Click Compile. Next, we need to create a T-Pose. 
Open the skeleton. Click on Options, Show Retarget Options. Then, select all the bones except the hips. Right-click and select Recursively Set Translation Retargeting Skeleton. Zero out the rotation values on all the arm and finger bones. There will be some exceptions, however. For example, the left arm and right arm should have their X value set to negative 5. Left thumb 1 and right thumb 1 should have their X value set to about 20. Zero out left leg up and right leg up rotations. Rotate the shoulders about 10 degrees up on the X axis. When you are done, go to Create Asset, Create Animation, Current Pose. Name the file tpose and save it in your Ready Player Me folder. Then go back into your animation blueprint. Drag the animation into the anagraph and connect it to the Live Link Pose node. Click Compile. Now, let's set up Axis Studio. In Axis Studio, pick a recorded file to play and set it to loop. Go to Main Menu, Settings, Advanced Settings. Turn off Joint Space. Then go to BBH Broadcasting. Enable BBH Capture if you are streaming live data. And enable BBH Edit if you are streaming recorded data. Select the Axis Studio Skeleton even if you are using gloves. Make sure that this placement is disabled. You can use either TCP or UDP. Just make a note of your IP address and port number. Then click OK. Let's go back into Unreal. Go to the Live Link window. If you don't have this open, click on Windows, then Live Link. Click on Source. Uncheck Is UDP if you are using TCP, and make sure the IP address and port numbers are correct. Click OK. You should see an Access Studio character under Subject Name. Now, go to your Animation Blueprint. Click on the Live Link Pose node and select the name of the Access Studio character. Click Compile. Your data is now streaming live. As you can see, the character is going through the ground a little. This can be adjusted in the Transform Bone node. If you are using the Live Link Face app, once you have it set up, you should see it in the Live Link window. Go back to the Animation Blueprint window and set the other Live Link node to the name of the character from your phone. Now you are driving the face and body of your Ready Player Me character. Next, we will create an actor blueprint. Go to your scene and right click in the asset browser. Click Blueprint Class Actor. Name and open your blueprint. Click Add Component and add a skeletal mesh. In the Details panel, under Mesh, Add the skeletal mesh of your Ready Player Me character. Under Animation, select the animation blueprint you created for them. Then click on Add Component again and add a Live Link skeletal animation. This will allow you to view the Live Link data in your viewport. Go back to your scene and drag the actor blueprint into the scene. Your Ready Player Me character is now being driven in real time in your scene. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye!